Yes, 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 yes. Global even takeover. though saying no in every language is nearly the same, I don't even know what that means. All I know is yes. All I know is gains. All we know is progress, consistency, motherfucking sacrifice, putting that work in, you know, struggling and feeling pain with the bigger picture in mind, with the cause, for the cause, you feel me? Sacrificing for the cause. Here we, here we are. You know, Mr. One Take God, we're back with another one. It's been quite a minute. This video is actually very old, about two months old. I'm finally getting around to it. And we're back. We're here to entertain. We're here to give insight. We're here to show you the motherfucking gangs. Feel me? We're here to show you how to stay consistent, kill it, and get an absolutely amazing anabolic looking physique. 100% natural, all testosterone in this video is straight from the balls of Mr. Ab. You feel me? 100% natty vibes, looking fucking fantastic, shoulder vein busting crazy, back looking like, holy shit, let's go. You know the real fucking vibes, man. I was about to walk out the door and I was like, oh, let me do the intro. I was like, let me do the intro real quick. I had just edited a video where I forgot to do one. So yeah, man, but today, today, I'm gonna have a great fucking workout. It's been a few days, but I've been eating, staying healthy in that sense. So should have a nice strong lift and uh, get back into the flow of things. I think it's gonna be kind of a quick workout. I don't wanna spend too, too much time. Uh, I wanna hit the bench, see where we're at with that. There's only one pair of fucking fives in the gym. So hopefully I could find the fives and I could move up to 175 because I've been doing 165, but it's starting to get light again. So, you know, I'm working my way back up to repping that 185, uh, just about two months. Ago, I was repping 185 on the bench for nine reps, trying to get to 10 and 12 so I can move up to 205 for six reps, which is a huge, huge win for me at 120 pounds. Yeah, so I'm working my way back up with that, and I just really got to get my consistency up in the gym, and I'm, I'm working towards that and, and just figuring out the eating situation and how I'm going to balance everything, balance business and making money and all this shit at the same time, and editing these videos and recording and shit. But hey, man, we're doing good. We're doing good. Also, got to get some sun, which I haven't in a few days either. But hey, man, we, we, we just pour into different buckets and different cups, you know, on different days, and we come back and we fill other cups back up but we you know just working on being as consistent as possible throughout but yeah man i'm excited for this fucking workout really i just wanted to i was thinking bench see if i can get 175 see how many reps i can get that for should be able to do a decent amount and then also squats want to hit squats and i wanted to do 245 today at least also I wanted to do some curls and I feel pretty strong. So we'll see if I could try the 55s and see how many reps I can get with that. Cause that'll be a great clip for Instagram. Get the fucking haters mad as fuck commenting so I can roast them back. And um, yeah, update as far as with the content and shit. Something that I've learned recently is when you're truly 100% authentic, I actually have a video on this that I'm gonna edit or I spoke on this. You become very polarizing by nature. Just automatically you become polarizing because you know, everyone's different. And if you're not trying to please everyone and you're being authentically yourself, you will trigger people and you create polarization. And those opposite side of people on the pole will attack you and then and if you roast them like me, it will make your engagement boost sky high. So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of growth on Instagram. I actually should do it more, but I'm getting, I get a lot less hate on YouTube, but yeah, I should roast the, uh, and then what you do is you just lean into yourself more. You lean into the parts that really piss people off. Like for me, the fact that I'm 120 pounds and I'm very fucking confident, I think I'm the best in the world and I use conscious auto suggestion and I talk to myself in a certain way that's going to build me to become my best self, which I've been doing, which is why I'm so exceptional like I am now already. That pisses people off because 99% of people out there they have private accounts, they don't post one or the other, or if they do, they're mid, it bothers them. Or, or some people, they may even be further along with certain things than me. But like, for instance, if they're a powerlifter, they may be stronger. They're probably not stronger per pound of body weight, which is sad that that's what they focus on and they still are not. They feel a lot stronger but just because they have the weight on me and they're doing heavier weight. When you really think about it, how much weight are you lifting per pound of body weight? That's the real question. Mental strength and 
they're not god given just you know you got a bigger frame you know what i'm saying so it's usually always some sort of like i just tick i piss people off because i'm very confident they're not confident i'm exceptional like objectively my physique is very fucking shredded and elite and also i'm very strong too for my weight respectively and relatively so it pisses people to fuck off so i lean into it more i just put my captions like the best the most perfect form like i know i need to work on my squat form i'll just be like perfect squats or just 225 squats body weight 120 and they're like Ugh. No, there's got to be something wrong so I feel okay myself. I'm a scrub. So yeah, lean into what is polarizing about yourself. That is some fucking sauce for you guys right before we head to the gym. Now let's go get this fucking workout. Let's fucking get it, baby. I'm excited for this one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So great to be back here with you guys. Here at the headquarters. We're at the takeover headquarters and we're finally getting around to editing this video. It's a good one for you guys today, and uh, got a lot of insights, a lot of entertainment as usual. You know your boy Ab holds it down. You know we're here to represent the takeover, and we're taking over the world. You know, one action at a time, that's how we do. Starting off this workout with a nice little warm-up and a nice stretch. Real solid, you know what I'm saying? I actually, when I was editing this, I just let this clip run. Solid, quick stretching, you know, getting the muscles loose here on the bench. And yeah, we had a short workout in this video, but we put that work in. That's what's important. We showed the fuck up and we got it done. You feel me? And that's that's what it's about. So we started with some stretching. We started with a little bench bounce, warm up with no weight. Look at the shoulders looking brolic there. We're getting some warm up push ups in. I want to get that blood flowing and get that blood pumping to the chest. So we're getting some push ups, a quick little set of 10 back on the bench now let's get right to it i believe this is 175 the 165 was feeling a little light for me but i remember coming into this day my eating was ass and i had missed the gym for like a week or more so you feel me definitely was a little weaker than i would have liked to been i was pissed off right here i'm like fuck but then i threw the 165 on right away like no break and then that shit kicked my ass i believe I think this is the one I got stuck on actually. It was really funny. Let's see. This is right after with no rest. I'm actually surprised. I got more reps than I thought. Oh yeah. I thought I put it up. I had it all the way up. And then I'm like fuck. But it's funny. Look how easily I just stand up with this shit. Yep. Easy. Okay. Just get it off me. Alright. Bet. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Smoothly step over the bar. You know as if I'm not embarrassed. A little embarrassment there. But um, you know shit happens i'm human and this is why you know i really don't mind being myself 100 percent and not giving a fuck and uh showing that side of me people actually love that you know it's vulnerable it's authentic a lot of people have trouble with that so they admire when they see you not give a fuck you feel me so definitely work on that i've done many videos on on the the art and the muscle of not giving a fuck you know what i'm saying so yeah, we, we did one more set of 175 and then I was pissed off. So I went to the fucking incline dumbbell with these 65s. You know how that first rep is very hard to get up. And then we're just rolling through these shits. You feel me? Nice and easy style. I was very happy with this because when I was very in shape and going a lot more often and super consistent with my brother. If you look back on those old videos with Dapa when we were going insane, pushing each other to the next level. I was doing these and... um. You know, after being out of the gym for a while and, and being a little weaker, I was able to do a solid set, and that was satisfying. Beautiful. Love this angle, but I believe I did not get too many reps on this one. But yeah, look how big those fucking 65s look on me. By the way, this is my body weight right there. I actually weigh around 120 pounds, sometimes even less. And fucking, yeah, I'm just holding 130 pounds in both hands right there. And just casually throwing that shit. I mean, I didn't get a big enough rest in between those. So, you know, we only got two reps, but fuck it, you know. We're hitting the muscle groups. We did a little superset vibe. And, uh, you feel me? Now we're working on these squats. Shout out to the haters and the uh, science-based lifters and all the fucking weirdos who like to correct everyone. Because it worked on me. And I started to uh, work to get my squats as to grasp because I always wanted to and they just motivated me to hurry up and get that shit right. You know what I'm saying? 
so we're working i actually dropped weight which i didn't want to do for the longest but that was the push that they really uh got me to do you feel me i said fuck it i'm gonna drop the weight and i'm gonna work on the ass to grass and as you can see we're, we're getting our ass all the way to the grass all the way down nearly sitting down on the fucking floor like a goat quick little warm up with the 135 to see how it felt going all the way down then I got a 15 on there so that would be this is about 165 I believe right here and I'm just working my way up back to that two plates so I can get the two plates for ass to grass at motherfucking 120 pounds which is absolutely insane double the body rate for fucking 10 or 12 reps you know that's the goal so so this is what we were working on here and we're still getting this 165 really clean really solid really low ass to grass a beautiful form beautiful form on this one but yeah guys you know i was doing a little bit of traveling and all this shit and i stopped posting but you know i'm back home and fucking i'm back on the mission and i'm posting nearly every day uh this is the last workout i have from this gym here and um we're gonna see if i'm gonna be doing more uh workouts in this gym but yeah fucking doing the good old borderline anabolic method mixing that uh progressive overload weightlifting with some calisthenics and i mean what more psychopathic way to express your psychopathy than doing a set of pull-ups on the bar after you did a set of squats i mean that's exactly how you be goaded if you look in the dictionary it'll tell you that's how you do it so yeah, we got a different angle, switching up the angles. I'm really satisfied with my look, you know. The legs are not matching my upper body, which is why I've been deciding to uh, go back and um, really show love to the legs and get them bussing so it can be completely symmetrical and unilateral throughout my body. It looks like an actual muscle, you know what I'm saying? Like a fucking vascular motherfucking, you know, flesh that can clearly be used to apply some force you know what i'm saying yeah i was like fuck that on the pull-ups i saw my mind i was like yeah fuck that i ain't doing the pull-ups on this one so yeah now we're just getting to our flex you know back is looking absolutely amazing i always love how my shoulders look on that pose even this pose my shoulders look fire triceps looking real fucking horseshoe like and and we're getting that back longest head of the tricep to start coming more and more we've been focusing on that now I'm looking like just a shredded motherfucking beast, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm shredded, I got some decent size. And um, you know, it's 100% natural and I'm very close to, you know, action figure type, WWE star type, movie star. All the people when I grew up that inspired me to have this physique and, you know, want that innate feeling in a in a young boy to want to be strong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking at myself now and my, my child self inside of me is satisfied. I mean, look at my fucking back. That was, that, was, that was nasty right there. The quads, they're starting to come in little by little. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you look at my upper body to my legs, it, it doesn't match. And that's what we're working on. That's what we're working towards. But, you know, pretty solid. We're getting the separations and the striations to start coming in. Did a little slow-mo on this one because goddamn, I mean, come on, look at this pose, look at the back, beautiful, fucking love it. Now we're a little closer, flexing the fucking pecs, the chesticles, you know, vascular as fuck, amazing bicep vein, crazy forearm veins, amazing shoulder veins, another slow-mo on the back. You can see that back vein down the middle of my back too at the beginning of that flex, that was wild fucking beautiful man you're seeing a lot of se separations you know i got the gills i got the abs i got the traps the shoulder veins like holy shit i'm loving this man i'm looking like batista in 05 you feel me like that's what i feel like but yeah now we're flexing the back oh get a good stretch got a good brain motherfucking gray matter on my back there when i do that when i put my shoulder blades back like that you feel me the opposite of the spread i guess that's the squeeze abs solid uh, i want to start working my abs more because um they always respond very well when i hit them like they'll start getting significantly better very quickly and um, i'm looking at them in this video and it's time to hit the abs again pec popping shoulder veins busting bicep veins fucking busting you feel me 
the tricep is being flexed when I'm flexing my bicep. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know. Shoulder veins going crazy. I see some chest veins there. You know, like this is just solid. Look at the forearm veins when I hit that pose. Look at look at that shit. It looks like a motherfucking like fractured like some shattered glass or a fucking like like you know a whole network of spider webs or some shit. That shit looking crazy. You feel me? And that's exactly what we want. I'm just testing around some poses here. I love this right here. Had to hit the slow mo. Shoulder vein is looking crazy. Fucking love that vein that's coming in. Slow motion back, you feel me? And um, we're ready to attack. And uh, we're ready to attack the day and attack life and, uh, you know, achieve all of our goals. And just step by step, we get ahead, guys. Remember, that's how you get ahead. You get ahead step by step by consistently doing the actions. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, you can have your back looking this wide and this motherfucking chiseled and jack and if you really need to if a situation popped up in life you're with your girlfriend you're out somewhere there's no table you can have dinner or you can even have lunch you know on that back and and we want that for you as well quads are coming in man you even see on the side of the quad there that cut coming in the whole length of the quad you feel me Rah! let's go baby the light beam nah <clears throat> Nah, but yeah, guys, Woo! it's a little different today. It's morning. The next morning, I forgot to do a video after the workout, the fucking recap. So it's the next morning, and I'm going to just tap in really quickly, and I'll throw this in with the edit from the workout from yesterday, Ski. So listen, that was a quick workout. You know what I'm saying? I was really surprised, and I, I, was, I was weak on the bench. That made me mad. I'm happy I got at least one set of that, um, those dumbbell presses on the incline skis with the 65 skis. That, that saved my ego a little bit. That's what I was doing before, and I haven't done them in a long time. Yeah, I'm definitely, this is the next morning. I'm feeling sore as fuck. For sure, Ski. Definitely need to get our protein intake busting today. Yeah, but that was a solid workout, though. And it made me realize something. Oh, yeah, also, I was hitting the squats. I asked to grass because I'm coming back. I got to work my way back up to the 225. I think I was doing, like, 165 or, one, or 175. I got to work my way back up to the 225 ass to grass, Skis. And I'm going to be posting that shit in full glory on Instagram. And being like, what the fuck now, haters? You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, these, these people online, man, the haters, the weirdos, the dweebs, the bots, right? They give good feedback. I'm not going to lie. Everything in the world is a reflection of yourself. So, I mean, these bots are also reflections for you and they're bringing you information and they're working in your favor. You know what I'm saying? So thank them for their feedback. I would just make it a point to say something positive or keep it moving. Don't give unsolicited advice. You know, only give advice when asked or say something positive or just keep it moving on the post man don't so that was my point and that's why i roast the fuck out of these motherfuckers but to be honest it was true but i already knew this and i already was working on my squat form they just made me do it faster they just helped me to do it faster but i already knew this shit that's another reason why it was annoying me like you guys think i'm blind i i knew to go and i was gradually going lower and lower and that's how i was gonna do it but i actually decided to drop the weight back down and i'm happy i'm happy because it took me a while like i didn't have the flexibility in my hips or whatever the fuck but i started practicing it and now i'm getting that shit ass to grass so i'm excited to work my way back up i'm not gonna lie though i felt some fucking soreness in a part of my fucking quads that i never felt before so that's a good sign probably add a lot of size onto the legs from what the comments said I had a lot more size on my legs. Some people, like I said, they had good energy. They gave good information. One dude was like, yeah, I used to do this too. I went back down. You'll get back up to the 225 really fast and you'll get way stronger, faster, past that. And you'll gain size on your legs. That's what I've heard. So today was the first day that I actually hit it. I tried like the last workout. It was better. But today, like, was feeling the real official ass to grass results, you know? So, uh, that was good too, and then it was short, it was the short workout, cause that shit beat my fucking ass, and it made me realize that this is how life is with everything. The fact of the matter is, I haven't been spending the time in the gym, my eating hasn't been the best, I've been fucking dealing with life, it's been really chaotic, and I'm, of course, I've been in the middle of it, like, mm, you know what I'm saying, meditating, overcoming, and fucking running over every obstacle. You know what I'm saying? Of course, obviously there's no other option besides that. So that's what I've been doing. But you know, 
it made me just really realize that with everything, it was another reminder in life. It's just like, I haven't been putting the hours in and I felt it in the gym. I was, I didn't push myself that much. Like that shit really hurt. I was not used to it. My body wasn't used to it. My mind wasn't used to it. And you know, I tapped out pretty early, but I'm also smart. And despite all the people in the comments who cursed me and tell me I'm gonna get injured, the reason why I've been healthy this whole entire time, working out and doing heavy progressive overload this whole time for years and have been completely healthy the whole way because I listened to my body, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I was doing there. And I just called it and I was like, you know what? This is good. This is the intro. And shit, it was because I'm still sore. I'm still, I'm, I'm sore today and I don't get sore all the time. So I still pushed it. Solid fucking workout. Hey man, I'm really happy with it. And we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going. And uh, it's just time to really stay consistent with everything, man. And it's just a reminder. It's like a spiritual fucking mental, physical reminder just applies throughout every aspect of life for me personally right now that it's just you need to stay consistent and when you're not consistent you can't be surprised when you don't have the results that you were having when you were consistent or the results you get when you're consistent anytime it's not going to be the same when you're fucking when you missed five days of the fucking gym and you ate good for only three days out of that you know or whatever similar situations to that you know if you're not on point with shit like on point all the time whatever you're doing with business with fucking working out with eating with relationships with this applies throughout and that consistency is where the magic is and i'm going to be doing a video on that soon because that shit just got reaffirmed in me and god showed me that lesson again in life so i'm gonna share that but yeah guys that was it we got to record the outro or the after workout video so here we are in the morning you know what i'm saying haven't even ate anything just woke up feeling nice and lean <sighs> <laughs> in the uh, some regular lighting but we feeling nice and lean we're feeling mean we're feeling like we're gonna take over again we're giving thanks to god for this beautiful day it's never promised so we're here another day we got another opportunity that's fucking amazing let's get it guys let's fuck this shit up let's turn up today <laughs>